You want to move us on here? I, I shall do so at this time because Rick in Atlanta writes in and says, good morning, Dave. Hi. Adam and Pilot Pete, not so much, I guess. You know, well. just kidding. Right. Good morning, Dave. Love the podcast. Never miss it. I have what should be an easy question. Uh oh. Yeah, it never gets <laughs> never a good start. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. This act. This actually may be. He says, if I set up Time Machine, does my backup disc have to be dedicated? Is it a clean disc, or can I use that disc that has other data already already on it? Thanks, Rick in Atlanta. Yeah, and the answer to that is yes, sort of. <laughs> and the reason for that is, you know, typically when you set up Drive for Time Machine, Time Machine does its thing and says, you know, you plug in it in or you select it from Time Machine. It says, okay, I'm going to make this Time Machine volume. And then it does its Time Machine thing and it formats that whole volume for how it wants to be. And now you have a Time Machine disk. So yes, in that context, but you know, it's a disk. So you could go into a utility like disk utility ahead of time, right? And create different volumes within that disk and use one of those volumes for time machine and then have the other volume available for whatever else. So yeah, I mean, you just have to like make the system think you've got multiple volumes, you know, a partition or whatever you want to do, set up multiple volumes. And that should work. I do not recommend that personally, because in doing that, right, if something goes wrong with that disk, both things die, right? It's it's yep. not, there's no redundancy to it. There's like, there's very little advantage in, in my opinion, like disks, especially, you know, spinning drives, but even more and more and more so if you care about speed of time machine, which I'm not hugely worried about, but um, SSDs, they're, they're, they're cheap enough. Like, I would just dedicate a disk to Time Machine and and have what I need there. And then if you need other storage, get a different system, a different disk. You know, you probably want better performance. And you can just get a cheap slow drive for your backups. Like, I don't know. That's that's always been my opinion. Huh. Yeah. Lots of storage, low cost. Like it's just there to back things up in the background most of the time. Like you're not you know, recovery might take a little bit longer if you don't have an SSD. But again, if you want to splurge on an SSD, fine. But I just, I just think Time Machine should just be a dedicated drive, personally. 